At Boreas Campers, we're thrilled to be the first off-road camper manufacturer in North America to offer the Garmin One system standard on a unit. The EOS 12 comes with the operational, navigational, entertainment system standard, and it's all included on this tablet. Being an off-road, off-grid, four-season camper, these systems are an important factor to maintaining the camper in these conditions, so let's walk through it now. The tablet is housed on a magnet charging dock in the camper and can be easily removed to travel in the tow vehicle while using the navigational features or outside to control the lights and speakers. The home screen gives you a good overview of the camper. You can turn off interior or exterior lights. You can see your shore power or how much solar power you're drawing. You get your cabin temperature, battery level, and your fresh and gray water tank levels. The options on the bottom of the screen allow you to access each individual system and appear on each screen as you navigate through. The next display is your lighting. There's six zones on the interior and three on the exterior. All but the bathroom are on a dimmer so that you can control how bright they are based on the settings. We especially love the rock lights on the camper so that you're not hitting your shin on anything at night, but you don't ruin your view of the stars. Use the master switch on the home page to turn off all lights at the end of the night without having to go outside and check. The next page is your climate page. Here you control the interior cabin temperature. If it's hot, you're using the standard Max Air fan, turning it on and off and adjusting the speed, or the optional Truma Aventa AC. The Truma Combi is what you'll use to heat the interior of the cabin. This can run off the electrical system, or the propane system, or a mixture of both. If you have a bright, clear day, the solar panels and battery will be able to keep up. If conditions are cloudy, then propane can be used to supplement that power. This is a great feature that adds a lot of flexibility to your time off the grid. The next display screen shows your water tank levels. There's a 50 gallon freshwater tank and a 40 gallon gray water tank on the camper. This is also where you would control your heaters. If it's below freezing, you'll want to heat the tanks and you can do so here. The Truma Combi is also the water heater and here you can choose between hot or eco options to heat the 2.6 gallon reservoir in the Combi. You can also choose your power settings so you can choose between electrical, propane or a mix of both. From here, you can also turn on the water pump, which provides water to your sink and shower. One of the coolest features on the EOS 12 is the Cruise Master XT airbag suspension. We have an onboard air compressor that you can control through the Garmin tablet, which allows you to auto level it once you arrive to camp. You have access to different ride heights through the Garmin tablet. You can raise it all the way if you're going through water, or you can lower it all the way if you're going through a tight trail with low hanging branches or rock overhangs. This makes it incredibly versatile on the trail and opens up much more terrain for you to access for your camping trips. From here, you can turn the air compressor off while you're at camp, and you can also see the PSI in your air tank. With the onboard air compressor and air tank, you have the option to add on the air chuck, which allows you to deflate and inflate your tow vehicle tires if you're going over some really tough terrain. Just like our campers, the electrical system is overbuilt and heavy duty to make sure that you can stay reliably powered up off the grid. From the power page, you can see into the 3000 watt Victron inverter, which transfers the energy stored in your batteries to the 110 system of the camper. The camper comes with 540 amp hours of Battleborn Game Changer lithium batteries with the option to have up to 1080 amps. These are powered by the 300 watts of ZAMP solar panels on the roof with the option to go up to 500 watts. The 12 volt system powers the lights, max air fan, powered roof hatch, USB chargers inside and out, and the Truma cooler. 
On the right hand of the screen, you see the AC max allowable, which controls the power coming in from shore. It also gives you a battery level to show you how much your batteries are charged. Volts, amps, and watts are also displayed. Outside of the Boreas Camper's specific displays are the entertainment system, which allows you to control the music and audio in zones inside and outside the camper. You can also use the navigational portion of the tablet in the tow vehicle to help get you to your destination. The Garmin system controls all the systems of the EOS 12 in a convenient, user-friendly tablet that makes getting off the grid easier and more comfortable than ever before. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions about the state-of-the-art system in the comments.